Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, find the centroid and moment of inertia. First, we'll split up the shape into three sections. Then we'll find the length of the second section, which is 250 millimeters. Next, we'll find the location, y bar of the centroid. We'll use the following formula to do so, which means we have to find the area and distance to the centroid of each section. The area of the first section is as follows, and the distance to the centroid is half the height, so 125. The area of the second section is the same, and the distance to the centroid is half the height, so 25 millimeters. The area of the third section is the same, and the centroid location is the same as section one. Now, we have everything we need to find the location of the centroid of the whole shape. Using the formula we introduced earlier, this results in 91.7 millimeters. Next, we need to find the moment of inertia of the whole shape, which means we need to find the moment of inertia of each section and then add them all together. This requires finding the distance from the centroid of each section to the centroid of the shape. We will call this distance dy. For the first section, dy can be found by subtracting the centroid of the shape from the centroid of the section. The result is 33.3. .3. The moment of inertia of the first section is calculated using the following formula. Because we are finding the moment of inertia around a horizontal line, the first part of that formula is base times height cubed divided by 12. This is a standard formula. The result is as follows. We repeat these steps for section two, finding the distance dy as well as the moment of inertia. The same applies for section three, which will give the same values as section one. Finally, to find the total moment of inertia, we just add the moments of each section together. We can multiply the first value by two, since the moment of inertia for sections one and three is the same. This results in around 216 million, which can be simplified to the following answer. And there you have it. Quick statics answers.